just one. Just one, Charlie. Pass the way like this. Madeline August is left with reminders of her only child. Cards from her birthday, Mother's Day, drawings that her daughter made in school. Only one baby. I tell God, thank you. Madeline August's four-year-old daughter, Dorcas, was the first to pass away from a viral outbreak at Wanakue Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation in Haskell, New Jersey. Are there other children in her room? Yes. My daughter is first door, the other one is a second window. And the one who was with her in the room, she passed away? She passed away. The name is Elizabeth. So far, 33 patients and one staff member have been infected in the adenovirus outbreak, a virus that causes mostly respiratory illnesses. It's concerning to continue to see it, uh, but there is a long incubation period for adenovirus, so it can be up to 14 days. The state health commissioner says the severe strain of virus combined with medically fragile patients plays into the tragic outcomes. 10 people have passed away so far. When she's born, she's never eat by the mouth. This mother says her daughter was living at the Pediatric Rehabilitation Center for the past two years. She chose it because she wanted a place close to her house to be able to visit all the time. When she's on um, birthday for two years old. You dressed her up? Yeah, I always buy clothes for her. Everything. August says on Thursday, October 4th, she got a call that her daughter had a fever and blood in her trachea. She says she told Wanaku staff to send her to the hospital, but was initially told no because the doctor was coming to see her at the facility. The next evening, she says Dorcas was sent to the hospital. She died three days later from complications due to pneumonia. She had to send her in the hospital early. She can pass the way. There have been allegations brought forward by unnamed employees of the Wanaku Center who claim in a recent NJ.com story that senior administrators delayed sending kids to the hospital to keep Medicaid funds ongoing. That's why the people, uh, they have pneumonia sick, very sick. When I go there before, I see you do that. When they next week, okay, you saw me coming. According to New Jersey's Department of Human Services, the fee for service rate per day per patient on the pediatric unit at Wanaku is about $518. Human Services confirmed Wanaku would only get paid for the days the patient was in their facility. Commissioner Elena Hall says inspectors are on site looking into all claims. If they find them to be true, they can pursue everything from fines to suspension of license. So uh, we can't transfer them safely to other facilities as well because that poses a risk to both them and to other patients in those facilities. So our best bet right now is to continue to really press the staff to control spread of the virus. Today, the Department of Health announced they would require Wanaku to hire a certified infection control practitioner and an approved physician with certification in infectious diseases. The facility also is no longer allowed to accept new patients until the center is able to prove they followed all protocols. This facility in particular cannot do what we call cohorting, which is uh, separating exposed uh, and healthy patients from exposed and ill patients, and finally, unexposed and healthy patients. Three separate cohorts is what you would normally want to do. Uh, this facility is not, because of their uh, layout, able to completely do that. The Attorney General's office would neither confirm nor deny whether there is an investigation underway. The Wanaku Center did not respond to our request for comment. Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.